exactly what you can beat. Okay. Caps Twisted Fate. I feel Caps Twisted Fate is always a weird one for me. Only it's not that like I've ever thought that he was a bad Twisted Fate player. It's more that like I've never associated the champion with him. I have to see what else they can do with this red buff with this pressure on the top side for now. Nothing. So in the long run, the cloud will fade. Not want to contest. And of course, if you're in a split map scenario like this, where your jungler's top, your mid lane is always hovering top, all Misfits bot they need to do. Bit of vengeance is play safe. As Mursa almost gets taken down there, has to burn the flash. Nice try there by be More than just this laning advantage, because we know what Ornalts do, and mostly they Ooh. win team fights. Good snipe now. Targum is going to be in trouble trying to make his way out to safety. Tidal Wave has now been used. Bubble blocked by Neon. Once one more auto to finish off. Calling down, coming down. Bye on the way in. Yankos. Are they going to go for anything else? The flash out from Neon is clean, getting away. Caps on the way down, but BTO is here too. Flacker going to be in trouble. BTO waiting, debating on where he can go. East back. Right. with no flash. Sanzara has the, the old flag. Wave. No TF ult either. Oh, Chem Tank. He's just running in. He's just gonna slow him down. There's nothing he can do. Damage mitigated to the rest of the team, but now the buy on the backside. Zanzara just looking for the 1v1. No one else even done damage. He's trying to finish the job. Look at the Sejuani base damage. Oh it's out of control. Yanko's in trouble too. The Q, the Q. Oh, another one dropping. Missed the slaughter G2 on the bottom. Zanzara coming up clutch and getting revenge for what G2 did to him in game one. And Irrelevant's gonna get a full top tower. This was solo. Yes, one gank top, but that's a full five plates over to the Renekton, who's now 2,000 gold up in isolation. Jungle bot ahead as well for Misfits and DTO sitting pretty happy in this mid matchup as Akali even in CS into the TF. Dragon over to Misfits. Ability to come back from a difficult loss. That's all on the G2 side. You look at the quantity of games played. G2 are the veterans through and through for again a team that is so incredibly rookie. G2 and they're having a fantastic early game sitting at. 3,500, 4,500 gold lead right now. Revan's looking for Broken Blade. Caps now going to come down. They should be able to get him in the 3v1, but can he get a kill back is the big question. Leaping in on the Caps now has been rooted up. There's just so much follow-up CC. He will get cut down here. No one traded back. Good kill pickup. See if they can take it down. Misfits committing four members to the top side. G2 can match that. Broken Blade still on the bottom side. No TP available. Harold charging, stun locks up. A lot of chain CC there, but no follow-up damage. The all now coming in though. Misfits fishing for a little bit of blood. Are leaping out. Force G2 to fight into them, but G2 want to look for cross maps. They want to look to use TF ult and the buy move to a side lane when the Dragon is started up, but Yankos might be caught with the damage. Stun. Yankos locked up. There's just so much damage. Killing spree. Finding small advantages, turning it into something so much more. Dragon up. Tower going to go down. Everything going in favor of Misfits. Hoping to pick off BTO. He can't try to shuriken flip back. It will get canceled. It will get interrupted. He will be cut down. Big shutdown into the back pocket of Flacky. Yeah, they want to cross map because they can always cross map with the TF and try to make a pick on side because Misfits have two champs that want to push outside. Akali Renix both want to play some kind of a 1 3 1 esque style, and that's where the TF can come into punish when Misfits want to make plays for towers or for dragons. G2 want to cross map. Unfortunately for them, Yankos BTO is in a good position to flank. Caps might have to use the ult to get vision. They're looking for it. There it Wait, is. Going over the wall and so just going to try to blow them up. Irrelevant to so much damage. Look at the combo. Oh, they've locked up VTO, but everyone else might fall. Broken Blade still a solid ultimate. VTO buying a bit more time by going golden now leaping backwards g2 getting routed around the pit mercy chasing forward irrelevant just about it's unstoppable clean. the snare landing all oh, the chem tech bringing him home bringing him into the back line this can turn right have absolutely smurfed this game and they are going to secure a 21 minute baron against g2 it's a force to be reckoned with Neon, he's not even three items yet the silver's not even scary yet it's a terrifying place for g2 g2 lack wave clear as well they don't really have that much. And they're oh, gonna engage just trying to dive. finish it. Flack it instantly dead. That's it. That's the main source of damage. VTO dashes right back out. TP coming in. Irrelevant is massive. Oh, it's a slaughter. We're 22 minutes in it. G2 might just try to end it right here. Rather, Misfits might try to end it right here. G2 running out of options. They need to defend their base, but they have no form of damage. They have no reliable form of wave clear. They have to Ornold this wave. They don't have that much wave clear at all. Ornold is the only real reliable thing they have left, but the wave hasn't crashed yet. He can't use it for only three creeps. He needs to wait a little bit longer. I don't think Misfits can end unless G2 takes some kind of silly fight, but they will hit the towers. Where is the Ornold? There it is for the wave okay, tech. Right stun him? Trying to stop him from getting it. He does get the stun out. The wave is still there. But Misfits, they're going to back away. They know not to risk it. Flacken coming up in just a moment. Yanko's leaping forward with confidence. Caps has ult on reason. Of all the nine of the ten kills that Misfits have secured. And a secondary shout out to Mercer. Ten of the ten. We've seen this man on Leona. They, they find a pick on DeVito, they get something done, but it feels like G2 are already out. Baron buff gone. Broken Blade might have to ult this wave if Misfits step up. They're using Dragon as an exit objective. They want to keep the pressure on. Lock up. Warren locked up the tidal wave to follow. Trying to turn something back. Broken Blade trying to leap out to safety. VTO still standing strong. He goes gold. He buys himself a brief moment. He can't continue. Step oh forward. God. So much damage. He gets the shuriken flip. It's big. It's a double. Looking for a bit more it's for the Simmer. Following up. The Akali gets one.
VTO grabs two, rather triple for the Sivir. VTO grabs one, and Misfit's gonna end the game. And in 25 minutes, the surprise of Misfits, where everyone come back and clap G2 after such a disastrous game one, making this a tied up series. Broken Blade said we'd get a banger or a 3-0, and I'm, I'm ready for a banger. A back and forth early 